It is Plan With Me Day. Today is the first weekly spread Plan With Me video for my new 2019-2020 Erin Condren Life Planner. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So today, the reason I said weekly spreads is because I've already shared a monthly spreads video on my new planner. If you've not seen that, I will leave that in a card above. In that video, I filled out July, August, and September monthly pages. So if you want to check out the monthly spreads, make sure that you check that link in that card above. Today's video is all about the weekly spread. So I'm not going to share with you my completed spreads for June because I have a video coming up that is is going to be my six month flip through. So you'll get to see January through June of my old planner. So it's basically gonna cover those weeks in June that you have not seen in a video yet. So today is just going to be the prepping of those four weeks. So I have three sticker kits that we are going to use for these spreads. So the week of July 1st, I am actually not going to use a sticker kit. This time, instead of using a sticker kit, I am going to attempt to use Erin Condren stickers and what I have to make a 4th of July spread. July 8th week is going to be the Disney, I always say carousel because I see the horse on it, but it is from Two Little Bees. I can't remember what she calls it, but it's a Disney kit. So that is going to be the week of July 8th. Then on July 15th, that week is Lion King week, which means we have to use a Lion King themed kit. So this is going to be a kit from Pretty Sheepy. And then last but not least on July 22nd, that week we are going to use the Tutti Frutti kit from Libby and Co. So now we are going to get to the prepping of our July spreads. So, usually on these videos, the first thing that I will do is switch over my cover, but since this is a new planner, this is the first time I'm using this planner, I'm going to keep the Braided Beauty on the front. I really do love this cover. I love this cover so much that I'm actually getting a lunch tote in this print as well. You will see that in August in my teacher supply haul. Now, I have not purchased a 4th of July kit because, you guys, I honestly forgot that I hadn't purchased one. So, we are going to be creative and I am going to be pulling from several different sticker books and pouches and things to make this spread look 4th of July themed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that took a lot longer than I had anticipated. This is what I have learned. When you don't have a sticker kit, it takes double the time to lay out stickers and create some kind of layout, a decorative spread. So, if you have never watched one of my Plan With Me videos, you may not know this, but I do white space planning. I do not do sticker on top of sticker because my brain does not like that. 
I cannot, my, my brain cannot comprehend when there's stickers all over the place. So I use my stickers for function and a little bit decorative. So that's why you do not see a lot of stickers because I will come in with my to-do items under each to-do heading and then I will have my Polaroid zip picture. So I have a Polaroid zip printer. I will share that with you. This is the little case, you guys. I've had this for three years now and it's still going strong. So what I do is I print my pictures out on this zip printer and it has paper. The printer paper is called zinc paper and it's actually got all of the coloring and stuff in it so you don't have to buy ink for it. It prints out on one of these little sheets here and the sheets have a sticky back so all you have to do is peel it off like a sticker and stick it on your spread. So I know some people like the, I think it's the HP Sprocket. I have never used that. I purchased this zip three years ago. It's been very good to me. It, I did go through a little bit of a time where it was having trouble with the um, paper, but I think it had more to do with the paper than it did with the actual printer. So I love this. At first, I was not sure if it was going to be something that was worth my investment, but three years later, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I did purchase it because I definitely got my money's worth out of it. And it's still going strong. I'm going to use it until it completely falls apart. So today you are seeing the Plan With Me video for July. On the third Wednesday, you will see my beach packing video. So hopefully when you're watching this, this is my beach vacation week. So I'm at the beach if you're watching it, if you're watching it when I am posting it. So I will show you how I packed and what I packed for the beach vacation on the third. And then on Friday will be my six month planner flip through. So after I flip through my planner for the last time, it will retire to the shelf. So I think it looks good. Let me share with you what everything is. So the washi tape at the top is simply gilded and this is the red with the silver that Irene comes out with normally around 4th of July. Um, the half boxes and the headers are Libby & Co. I have two little organizers here. I have a header organizer. Oh, and the weekend. So this has headers and weekends. And then this has, I've got them all out now. This has all of my half boxes in there. So anytime I get a kit that has either one of these in here, I will put it in one of these vinyl envelopes or clutches from Erin Condren and it goes in my sticker organizer. So then I have a random assortment of Erin Condren stickers. I grabbed from several different spots. So that's what all the decorative elements are and the quote stickers. And this down here came from one of the single sheets. Here it is. And I've cut it up now. I think I used this for last year's spread. So I just used the leftover that I had cut and some of the stickers, the background sticker here is one of those. So anytime I have stickers like this right here, I will not throw this away. This will actually go in this Erin Condren random sticker clutch here. So anything that has sheets that have been used but still have stickers on them, it goes in this clutch right here. These are one of the most beneficial and under, most underrated products through Erin Condren. So that looks good and we are going to move on to week two. Week two, which is the July 8th week, we are going to use the Disney carousel kit, that's what I'm calling it, from To Little Bees.
This has got to be one of my favorite spreads that I have done in a while. And I know I said that about last month's uh, Pixar Pier, which both of them, that, they are two totally different kits. I love both of them, but this one is one of my favorites as well. I have all of these stickers left. So what I will end up doing with these stickers is these stickers will go in my sticker organizer. If you've not seen my sticker organization video, I will put a card above to that. I did that last summer. I still have the same system, so there's no sense me filming another video when I already have that one available and it is up to date. So I do have a complaint. When I was going over the new life planner, if you've not seen that video, I'll put that in a card above as well. I really did not take note of the lines at the very top because I was like, it's going, I'm going to cover it up with washi tape. It's really not that big of a deal. That is, unless your washi tape does not, is not dark enough to cover it up. So you can still see it here. And on this spread here, even with the dark red, you can still see it. So, no, I don't like that. So next year, I sure hope that Erin Condren takes that off. Especially for a neutral planner, that's, we don't want color up there. So there's blue and some purple here. I don't like the fact that I have to attempt to cover it up because my washi, it, even if this red, this red's not covering it up. So, I mean, nothing else is probably going to cover it up. You're still gonna see through it. And it goes all the way into the coil. So, I don't like that either. So that's a big, I don't like for Erin Condren. So I hope that is something next year that they fix. So on the eighth, I have a clean with me planned. I'm not sure if I'll move that around considering I'll just be home from vacation. We'll see. The 10th, I'm not sure yet. And then on the 12th, you will get my vacation vlog. So the next week, we are going to move to the week of the Lion King. And I'm calling it the week of the Lion King because this is the week that the Lion King comes out in theater. So of course, I had to go ahead and do a Lion King kit for this week. So my third week is now completely finished and I've got all of these stickers left that I will put in my sticker organizer. So if you notice at the top, the black did cover it up, but I don't want to use black every single week. So I will tell you all my washi that I've used so far is simply gilded. Down here, this is, I want to say that's the pumpkin color. I'm not really sure 100%, but um, I'm thinking that's what it is and all the stickers. Now, I will tell you this is a vertical kit. I get asked about this pretty often. Since I have a horizontal planner, not every sticker shop that I like to purchase from has horizontal planner um, stickers. So, what I will do is I will just take the sticker that I really like and I will just trim it. So, it took just a teeny bit to trim off of that to get it to fit. So, it does not bother me to trim a sticker if it does bother you, you may not want to choose the vertical stickers, but everything else works. Just the background stickers, I normally have to trim. So I have all of these left that I will put up. So everything is pretty shapey, except down here, I did pull out my designer sticker book, monthly collection edition two, and I pulled out the sticker from January that says change requires a leap of faith. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to do this every single time, but you have noticed on these spreads, I have covered up the calendar. I'm just used to it not being there. So, I mean, in the future, I may actually not cover it up, but for right now I am because that's just what I am used to doing and i'm not sure if i'm really keen on the curved edges 
because as you notice my stickers I can't completely curve my stickers around which doesn't bother me really bad but it does it is different I will say that so on the 15th I will be sharing my Nordstrom picks right now unless I need to move it around because of dates so I'm going to share with you the items that I plan to purchase or am purchasing from the Nordstrom sale that happens this time every single year I love the Nordstrom anniversary sale so make sure you check out on the 15th unless I change that around I'll keep you updated on that on the 17th my favorite Dollar Tree organizer so I have been sharing my favorite organizers I've shared the ones from Walmart and Target if you've not seen those videos I will link those in a card above so my next one I am going to share is Dollar Tree and then the 19th I'm not sure right now because that's like a month away exactly what I will be sharing on that date so I want to leave some days open so that's all good that looks good and you know this weekend i will be going to see the lion king so the last and final sticker kit for this spread is the tutti frutti kit from libby and co So my last week for July is now finished. The washi tape, these are the two that I use, both Simply Gilded. And I don't remember the name of them. I want to say this is Sunshine Yellow, but I'm not 100% sure about that. These are all the stickers that I have left, so they will go in my sticker organizer for next year. And I did end up pulling a sticker from the designer sticker book monthly collection three down here it says positivity inspires productivity so I think it looks really good everything simply gilded the Libyan Co I did not have videos marked down because it's so far ahead of time right now I don't have any videos down for that week so if you know any video ideas that you would like me to share during the month of july please leave those in the comments below so that's going to be the common question what would you like me to share in some videos so before we finish let's go back through and look at our monthly spreads one more time so this right here was just a collection of libyan co and erin condren stickers and simply gilded washi tape Second week, this is a Two Little Bees kit, and I'm calling it Disney Carousel. I forgot exactly what she called it, but everything on here is Two Little Bees except for this background washi at the top. That is simply gilded. And the third week is Pretty Sheepy Lion King stickers with simply gilded washi, and then down here, that is a quote sticker from one of the Erin Condren sticker books. Then the last week is the Tutti Frutti kit from Libby & Co and Simply Gilded Washi and another sticker from one of the Erin Condren sticker books. So that is all for my July weekly spreads. And that is all for my July Plan With Me video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing me set up and prep all of my weekly spreads for July. In the comments below, I would love it if you would share with us if you use stickers more of a decorative element or as a functional element in your planner. I like to use mine as function but a little bit decorative. So definitely share all of your opinions in the comments below. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity also I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time bye you guys